takes a journey to tame the wild. The one bound by ground and sky, and the one whose boundaries can be found only in the mind. Hitting the target starts with setting your sights on a trophy whose value comes in the journey. When the horizon seems infinite, but your possibilities even greater. An expedition that requires running to the elements, not away. Because in each of us lives a hunter, and in every hunter, an athlete. Run to gun. Welcome to Run to Gun. I'm Jordan Miller. Here at Run to Gun, we're more than just about the hunt. We're about the journey that takes you there. I just found out I drew for a New Mexico archery elk tag. I live in South Dakota, and I know this year my training styles are gonna have to be different. I'm gonna be 9,000 feet higher elevation, more than what I'm used to, so I know I'm gonna have to be stronger. In today's episode, I'm gonna take you through my entire summer strength training program and how I'm gonna prepare for this fall's hunt. And after we train, I'm gonna take you to New Mexico on our hunt. You're watching Run to Gun. This year, I drew for a tag of a lifetime and I'm not gonna waste it. It's time to plan out my summer and train to hunt at over 8,000 feet higher than what I'm used to. Today, I'm gonna to show you compound lifting. I have three exercises I wanna show you. An incline dumbbell press, a lat pull down, and a barbell squat. Compound lifts are essential for gaining full body strength. Now, as I'm going throughout this workout, I'm gonna to explain to you the form and why I'm doing it. So let's get started on the incline dumbbell press. Now, I'm already properly warmed up. You're gonna hear me get out of breath very soon as I'm pumping out these reps. That is why I'm hitting them. It's not only training my heart, but it's training my muscles to get strong. As I'm getting started, I'm committing to the weight. I've already built myself up to the weight I'm at. My rep ranges for strength is gonna be around five. Those are gonna change a little bit throughout the summer as I train, but today I'm gonna be hitting five repetitions nice and slow. Let's get started. Committing to the weight, kicking them up to myself, pressing them up. I'm starting from the top. Now I'm locking my core in, it's tight. My shoulders are tight on the pad, my head and my butt, and my feet are flat on the ground. I'm slowly lowering the weight. I'm controlling the whole way in. I'm not just flopping the weight down, pressing hard, flexing my chest. That's what I'm focusing on. Two, you can hear me already going out of breath. My muscles are shaking. I'm working on getting strong. I'm working on my strength. I want to be strong for that mountain. That's my motivation. I'm going to pack that elk out. I'm going to kill an elk this fall. I'm gonna kill an elk this fall. So I get down with that fifth set, committing down. And I'm throwing my weights down to the floor. Now, you may be thinking, why the heck would I need upper body strength on this hunt? Well, I'm gonna be carrying around a 40, 50, 60 pound pack all weekend long coming up here this fall. So this upper body needs to be strong. Plus, why be average? I'm not gonna be an average hunter. I'm not gonna be an average personal trainer. I'm sure as heck not gonna lift weights average in the gym. My next exercise is a barbell squat, an exercise I will be incorporating into my routine all summer long. It is essential my legs are the strongest they've ever been if I'm gonna conquer the mountains of New Mexico. So let's get started on some warm-up sets here. The more I warm up, I, I'm making sure I'm, I'm preventing injury and I'm not gonna get hurt when I start my heavy working sets, which are those sets of five that we talked about earlier with the chest press. So let's get warmed up. I'm approaching the bar, I'm coming underneath, Placing the bar on my traps of my back. So I'm building the shelf. I'm not setting them on my shoulders or my neck. It's on the traps of my back. I'm popping up. I'm nice and stable. I'm coming outside, shoulder width apart. My knees are gonna go keep nice and straight. My toes are out. So first motion, I'm thinking about keeping a natural, a natural curvature to my lower back. That's gonna protect my spine and keep the weight off off of my spine and keeping it from compressing. So the butt goes straight back on the first motion. I'm sitting down, my knees are pulling apart, weight is in the back of my heels, and I'm coming straight up. And again, that, that natural curvature to my, to my spine is staying, staying that way. 
So I'm popping back, knees apart, chest up, and repeating. I'm going to repeat this several sets for 8 to 15, always controlling the weight down into my glutes, my hamstrings, and my quads. My range of motion will increase as well. I'll be able to get a little lower as I'm getting warmed up here. So I'm going to do a couple warm-up sets, 8 to 15, and then we're going to get started. Let's get into some heavy weight. Well, I'm properly warmed up and I'm about ready to start my working sets. So today my exercises are actually six sets of five with 225. So I'm keeping the weight consistent. Now, I'm not going to be discouraged at my weight today. It's the beginning of the summer. My weights are going to increase all summer long. When I step into the gym, I'm checking my pride at the door and I'm, hip I'm hitting weight appropriate for me, nobody else. So I'm going to show you my first set of five here as we get going proper form, always proper form. If you can't hit it, lower the weight. We always want good form to prevent injury and gain proper strength gains. That's what we want. Let's get after it. So again, same, same approach, building that shelf on the shoulders, making sure my core is tight. I'm popping up. My core is tight here. Shoulder width apart just outside, toes out, curvature to the back. Here we go. Butts going back, slowly going low. Two, come on, man. Three, four, controlling the weight. Stay focused. Ah, and five. Okay, so racking the weight. That was my first set of five. I have five more sets of five. Now, I know I'm gonna be a little sore on this tomorrow. Don't let that discourage you. Don't, because why not be sore now and then be sore up on that mountain? I wanna have positive memories of that mountain, of that trip this fall. And that's why I'm training hard right now. My last exercise is a wide grip lat pull down. This is one of many back exercises I'm gonna hit throughout the summer to set myself up for success when I'm gonna pack that elk off off the mountain. And a strong back is gonna guarantee that. So let's run you through the form. Wide grip bar, my hands are on the outsides. I'm gonna pull down the weight as I'm taking a seat. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is set up a tight core. So I'm locking in my core, my chest is gonna stay elevated throughout the entire motion. Chest is elevated, I'm pulling straight down, elbows out, pulling to my chest, slow back up. Now, as I'm pulling down, I'm contracting the lats of my back and squeezing them. On the way up, they're staying flexed, they're staying contracted, controlling the way back up. So one, two, three, squeeze, and a one, two, three, up. Now again, I'm just warming it up here, 8 to 15 reps, really heating up my lats, nice and slow, before I get into my working sets. Again, trying to hit five working sets today, six sets of five, to work on that strength and guarantee a strong body and a strong mind up on the New Mexico mountains. All right, I'm all warmed up. My first of six working sets today. Let's get started. Just like my warm-up sets, I'm maintaining the same good form at that weight I'm pulling. Chest is elevated, Whew. pulling to my chest. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, down and squeeze. One, two, three, up, two, three. I'm thinking about the challenges New Mexico might throw at me here. That's my motivation all summer long. I wanna get better, I ain't gonna be average. And squeezing, all right. So I have five more sets there, five more sets. The work I put in today is gonna to determine the success I have tomorrow. And that is why I'm hitting this hard all summer long. Now these are just three different exercises I'm showing you today. There's many different variations for every single muscle group. So some of these might not be for you yet, you might have to progress to them. So for more information on that, jump on over to run2gun.com or contact me personally. I just finished up one of my strength training routines. Now I'm hitting the weights five to six days a week. It is essential I get in the proper recovery shake to promote that recovery faster so my workouts are just as intense tomorrow as they were today. Now I always go to Max Muscle's ARM, which stands for Anabolic Recovery Matrix, and that's exactly what you're getting. It's kind of a three-part system. You're getting a 28 grams of quality protein. You're getting the best on the market in whey protein isolate and concentrate to promote that recovery, as well as the proper amount of glutamine to speed up the recovery as well. 
On top of that, 32 grams of carbohydrates to carry that protein into the muscle and raise the glycogen levels. So that is why I always choose Max Muscle. On top of that, they follow the American College of Sports Medicine guidelines, so I know it's a safe product to take in. When we come back, it's time to take off for New Mexico and see if all this work pays off when we encounter our first big bull. We strength trained all summer long in preparation for this hunt. Now it's time to put it to the test. All right, we're all packed up. We got a full truckload. We're heading down to unit 34 in New Mexico tonight, leaving from Myrtle, South Dakota. It's about a 20 plus hour drive all the way down there, but we drew for archery elk tags this year. First year we applied, got lucky as heck, so we're pretty jacked to get down there and get started. We're gonna get there a day and a half early. We'll shoot our bows, get everything sighted in, ready to rock. Run to gun, coming at you right now. Well, it's about 11.30 tonight. We're in small town Colorado. We've been driving for close to eight hours, and uh, I think we're, we're in Brush, Colorado, about 100 miles out of, out of Denver. It's September 10th right now. We're three days off of opening season in uh, New Mexico, Friday the 13th. We're hoping to turn that into a lucky day for us, but we're itching to get down there. I don't know if we're gonna stop and sleep tonight or just keep rolling, so we'll keep, keep trucking away. Well, we pulled off the road last night about two in the morning, decided to get a little sleep. So we got about five hours, we're gonna take off again. We got about nine hours left to go today. <laughs> I didn't wanna pull off, somebody else did. I could've drove the whole way. <laughs> so we take off the next morning and we are just enjoying the scenery. It is a lot different than what we're used to, but we also can tell that the weather's starting to change. It's raining inconsistently on and off, but it's picking up the farther we go south. So we're just, we're hoping that it doesn't, that's not the trend of the trip. We just crossed the border into New Mexico. There's elk crossing signs everywhere, so that gets me a little jacked up uh, because we're pretty tired. We've uh, been on the road for 15 hours about, and this is the part of the hunt where you, or the drive that you just start to uh, get a little fatigued, your back's hurting, our legs are hurting, and you gotta stay mentally mentally strong. You know, we, we, we talked about strength all summer long for this hunt, work on our physical strength, but it really correlates into other things, whether it be when you're driving down or, or practicing your bow or in the middle of a workout, we gotta stay mentally strong and stay focused on the little things, on those goals uh, to be successful. That's what, we, that's what we're here for, so uh, it's all about mental focus, it's staying mentally tough. Well, we finally rolled into the camp of the Tall Pines, New Mexico. Man, talk about a long drive. It's almost 11 uh, p.m. here at night on September 11th. Uh, we had rain all the way from Fort Morgan, Colorado, so it was a long day, a long day and a half really, but we're going to rest up tonight, shoot our bows tomorrow, and then Friday, game time. We got a good night's rest, woke up early to shoot our bows, and met our guide Justin from Arrowhead Outfitters. Justin, what's up? How's it going? How you doing man? Jordan Miller. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you today. Great. How's it going? How's your guys' trip? Oh, it was a long trip in, but we couldn't be happier to be in, so. Right, nice. How's the scouting been going? Elk bugling? A little bit. It's been slow. The first time it's been a little slow, but um, hopefully, you know, we've had a ton of rain, if you haven't noticed. Right, yeah. It's really all unreasonable for this time of year. We've got like four inches in the past day and a half, so it's, wow. it's kind of hurt a little bit of getting out of the woods and stuff, but um, hopefully, you know, hopefully we get out, this will clear up and get a little action and stuff, but there, it can only get better. They're starting to, the beagle is starting to come into red a little bit better, so. Good. Well, you're just finished shooting up our bows here a little bit, and we're, uh, we're ready to rock, so right. pack up our gear, and we'll be ready in the morning. Good, yeah, yeah, maybe we get out and do a little scouting this afternoon, see if we can uh, glass some bulls out, and kind of get a better idea where to head out tomorrow. Awesome. Good. Four of them. One, two, three, four. And that rain's making it hard to see anything. We're up on top of a big lookout and uh, doing a little scouting day before season. And uh, Justin has spotted three or four bulls across the across the big big canyon that we're gonna hit up tomorrow. So the rain's making it tough to see. It hasn't stopped raining in two or three days. So. Make it a little tougher scout and a little tougher to hear the bulls. Hopefully we'll, we'll make it happen. We keep on driving. We find a couple more herds of elk. And surprisingly, the weather's getting worse, but we keep seeing more elk. So we're not, we're not too discouraged about it. And we hear our first bugle as well. 
and that just got the hair standing up on the back of our necks. We are really, really excited to get out the next day. We don't even care that it's raining as hard as it is, but but we're just, we're just gonna push through. The season starts tomorrow, but the weather is getting worse. Luckily, we have some elk located. When we come back, opening morning puts us 25 yards away from a big bull. I'm Jordan Miller, and you're watching Run to Gun. Day one, Friday the 13th, Elk, New Mexico. Let's take this out. Well, it was the very first morning and we saw it was our first set of bulls that we saw and we were determined to get over in front of them before they got out of range. They were working their way up this ridge, so we needed to cut down this bank up to the next ridge to make sure we didn't miss them and miss our opportunity on, this, on the first bulls that we saw that morning. Justin set an awesome pace for us. We had to go about a little over a quarter of a mile and it was some tough terrain with all the rain we had. We were slipping and sliding all over the place. and. We just split up, Dad hit, hit a lower ravine, me and the cameraman went up a little higher, and we went up and stopped. My cameraman's like, hey, 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 stop, stop, stop. And there they were, the cow was about 20 yards from us. Now we had about four or five come in and they knew something was wrong but they never busted us. We couldn't believe it. And we saw that bull about 200 yards back and we just kept hoping and praying that these cows were not going to bust us and this bull was going to follow the same track in. So I got set up on this bull. We saw the cows coming in and it was just like everything was coming together. I mean, we worked so hard over the summer and this was opening morning and we see this bull working right in, nose to the ground, plowing through the timber and everything was just working out as planned. It, we couldn't have scripted it better. and uh, we'll have another opportunity. So it's gonna be, yeah, the rut's just starting to heat up right now. The bulls are bugling pretty good. Not, Justin says it's not crazy, but pretty good. Um, we've, we've heard and seen, you know, four, five, six bulls this morning and a couple of really nice ones. So we'll, uh, we'll get another opportunity. We'll knock one down. Well, it seemed like this story was coming to a close, but it looks like this script ain't over. Make sure to tune in next week to see more encounters with big New Mexico bulls. Because in each of us lives a hunter, and in every hunter, an athlete. Run to gun.